Hey friends. So as you can see with me, I have some really cool friends I wanted to share with you today. This is Pow Pow Fish. If you say hello to him, wave your fins to him. And this is my friend, Mr. Octopus. Now with these friends, where do you think we're going? If you said the ocean, you are correct. We're going to be going under the sea today. Has anybody ever been out to the ocean, to the beach? There's so many fun things to do at the beach. I love going to the beach in the summertime. But underneath that ocean water, there is so much to discover and so much to explore. It goes so deep and there's hundreds and hundreds of different animals out there. So we're gonna discover some of those today. Here's Pow Pow Fish and we're gonna see him later in our story. Mr. Octopus. I'm going to put them down for a minute because here I have crawling over. Here is, what's this? It's Mr. Crab, but he's a nice crab. He doesn't pinch me with his pinchers, right? Yeah, that's right. So let's look at some other animals we might find under the ocean. Hmm, let's see if you might know what these are. Okay, like I, we said with Mr. Octopus, here it is under the ocean. How many legs does an octopus have? It's eight, right, octa. Octa means eight of, so octopus, like an octagon has eight sides on a stop sign. Here it is. All right, and here is a sea turtle. Now they're a lot bigger than regular turtles we see on land. These, these turtles require to be in the water and they come out of the eggs right on the beach. Well, do you know what this is? At SeaWorld, there's a really popular one. His name is Shamu. This is called an orca whale. Orca whale are what colors? Black and white, you're right. Oh my goodness, look at this fish. What in the world? That's right, he's a blowfish and he puffs his cheeks out like that so he can stay safe away from other underwater creatures who might come up and eat him. Oh, I would not want to be around him. He's silly looking. Oh, here's some of, if you watch A Little Mermaid, some of Ursula's friends. An eel, ooh, look at him. They're like an underwater snake. Oh, I like these ones. I've seen them at the zoo before. You know what these are? Sea lions called a sea lion because if you look closely they have whiskers like a lion so they almost resemble a lion but they're under the sea. Oh what's this? The stingray. So you have to be really careful because they could sting. They do have some at the zoo though that you can pet and those ones don't have their stingers in them and they if you've ever felt them before has anybody ever felt one at the zoo? I felt one before and they don't feel like they look. They feel almost a little furry. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, what about this guy? This is a manatee. Look at him. He's big. I think they call him a sea cow because he's big like a cow. Uh-oh, some of you might like to eat this one. A lobster. Watch out for its pinchers like the crab. Oh, these are so pretty. Starfish. You know, starfish, they actually move down in the ocean. They swim all around. How many points does a starfish have? One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, here's Nemo. Do you know what kind of fish Nemo is called? A clownfish. Yeah, a clownfish. What colors is Nemo here? orange, white, and a little bit of black around. So here's one of my favorites in the ocean, a dolphin. They're so friendly and they jump out and in of the water. This little guy, a seahorse. They're so cute. Uh-oh, watch out for this one. Watch out for his sharp teeth. What is this? Donna. Dunna, dunna. 
a shark. Oh, they're scary looking. Gotta stay far away from them. And look at this. This is a humpback whale. A humpback whale is the largest animal in the whole entire world. That's pretty big. Can you imagine being around him when he splashes in the water? Get soaking wet. All right, so those are some animals that we're going to be learning about today, talking about. Okay, so right now, remember my friend over here, Pout Pout Fish? Well, he brought with us today a really special story about him and some friends. Why do you think he has a pout pout face? Hmm. I hope nobody hurt his feelings. Well, I guess we'll find out. And in the story, we're also going to see Mr. Octopus. So we'll be bring them back out and around whenever we find them in the story. All right, pout pout fish. I love this story. It's one of my favorite books. There's also other ones, too. Here's the pout pout fish. Right, I'm going to put you down here so you can watch too. The pout pout fish by Deborah Deason and pictures by Dan Hanna. Oh, look, there he is. How does he look so sad? Let's see if we can find any more of those other under the sea ocean animals we talked about earlier. Deep in the water, where the fish hang out, lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Hmm. Look at his pout face. Hmm. I'm a pout, pout face with a pout, pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Oh my, Pow Pow Fish, why do you feel that way? Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying. But it's just the way I am. Hmm, there he is again. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Oh my, pout pout fish. Ooh, along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a dental locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. Aww. I feel sorry for the pout pout fish. He wants to be friendly and smile, but it's just the way he is. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, and I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Oh my. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. I mean, she's not nice. Hey, Mr. Fish, your kaleidoscope a mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. So what's he going to say? Do you know what he's going to say? If you do, you can say it with me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, and I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. There he is. 
Ready? Let's say it. Blob, blob, blob. Hmm. Oh, look who's coming. Mr. Octopus. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. Hmm. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, and I spread the dreariness all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Oh my. Oh, look who's coming. She's a pretty fish. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never before seen this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, oh, look at him down there. What's she gonna do? <gasps> but she does. She plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Aw. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just the ghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty. But it turns out I was wrong. What? I'm a kiss kiss fish with the kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. Well, there wasn't a pout pout fish. Would you like that too? Spreading happiness. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Oh, I keep kissing all his friends now. Be nice. Smooch. So now he's a kiss kiss fa fish with the kiss kiss face and he's spreading all the kindness all over the place. The end. Where I like that story. A happy ending. Okay, now that we read the story about the pout pout fish, we're going to sing a song called Slippery Fish. Now in the Slippery Fish song, we're going to meet a slippery fish. We're going to meet an octopus. Wiggling. We're going to meet a tuna fish. We're going to meet a great white shark. We're going to meet a humongous whale spouting out his water. All right, ready? Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. <gasps> Oh no! The slippery fish was eaten by an octopus, an octopus, squiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! The octopus was eaten by a tuna fish, a tuna fish, splashing through the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish, go, go, go. Oh no! The tuna fish was eaten by a great white shark, a great white shark, lurking through the water. A great white shark, a great white shark, go, go, go. Oh no! The shark was eaten by humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting through the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, go, go, go. Oh, stomach hurts. Maybe we should give a burp to feel better. Burp.
Oh, excuse me. Well, friends, thanks for going deep down in the ocean with us today. See you soon.